Today we're going to talk about solving a system of equations, and we're going to start with the first method, which is graphing. A system of equations are two equations, and when you solve them, what you're really being asked is what value of x and what value of y satisfy both equations. So we want to find 1x and 1y, that when I sub them in here, 2 times x minus 7y will equal 35. And if I sub the same value of x and y in here, 4 times x plus 7 times y will equal 7. Now, we can recognize these as equations of lines. We have an x and a y in a constant term. And we c if there are an infinite number of possibilities here, but there will be only one possibility that satisfies both equations. Now, if I graph the lines that each of these equations represent, graphically, where the two lines cross will be the solution to the system of equations. So I'm going to go about and rearrange these into slope y-intercept form so that they're easy to graph, starting with equation number 1. If I rearrange equation number 1 to get y by itself so that it's in slope-intercept form, I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides so that I get negative 7y on the first side equals 35 subtract 2x. And then I'm going to divide both sides by negative 7, which gives me y on this side. 35 divided by negative 7 is negative 5. And negative 2 divided by negative 7 is positive 2 7 x. Now, when I graph that, remember the number all by itself is where it crosses the y-axis. So I'm going to go to negative 5 on the y-axis. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And this number in front of the x tells me the rise and the run to get to each successive point on here. So I'm going to rise 2 and run 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And there's two points to graph my line. So I'll put my ruler on there, draw a nice, straight, accurate line so that I will be able to see where it crosses the other line that I will draw. So this is our equation number one. Now we'll do the same thing with equation number two. We will rearrange into slope y-intercept form. And I'm going to subtract 4x from both sides to get equation number two to have the y by itself. So then I will get 7y equals 7 minus 4x. And I will divide both sides by 7, which will give me y equals 1 minus 4 over 7x. And when I graph that, the y-intercept is the 1. And then I'm going to go down 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and forward 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. As you can see, I've actually hit the same spot twice here now. That is going to be the solution to my system, that spot that I got with both of my graphs. Where those two lines cross. And that point is 7, negative 3. So that means that 7, negative 3 will satisfy both of these equations. Now, if we want to check that out, we have 2x minus 7y, and I want that to equal 35. I'm not going to use the equal sign because I'm checking to see if they're equal. Normally, we call this a left side, right side check. So I'm going to say left side equals that, right side equals that. And now we're just going to check and see that if I sub in the solution I got, 7, negative 3, is this going to make this side turn out to be 35? And if that's the case, then we know that it satisfied the solution, or the equation. So we've got 2 times 7 minus 7 times negative 3. That gives us 14, and negative 7 times negative 3 is positive 21, which equals 35. So we've got a match here. Left side equals right side. 
But all that really means is that this point, 7, negative 3, is on our first line. We have to check it in our second line. And our second line was 4x plus 7y on the one side. And our right side was 7. So we are going to check that, the point 7, negative 3, 4 times 7 plus 7 times negative 3, which equals 28. And 7 times negative 3 is negative 21. 28 minus 21 is indeed 7, which means that I have a second match. Left side equals right side. And that point does indeed satisfy both those equations. So we have solved our, our system of equations, and therefore the solution is 7, negative 3.